Israel has donated a research skill development computer classroom center to Nigeria to boost educational growth of the girl child in the country. Ambassador Michael Freeman, ambassador of Israel to Nigeria while donating the center to Regina Passes College in Abuja, said it was in memory of Golda Meir, a former prime minister of Israel. The symbolism and the importance of being at a school of being at a girls' school, about sending a message about education, about culture, about partnership, um, is really, an, a, 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 I don't think it's coincidental. This was one of the, fir one of the schools that we've chosen uh, to be involved in uh, the project. Um, and it's important for young children in schools, particularly young girls, young women, to have early access to education and in the areas of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, in the STEM uh, areas. Put an emphasis on education and technology. It encourages individualized approach to learning. It encourages students where they can assess their own strengths and weaknesses, placing themselves to accomplish their educational objectives. The role that technology plays, though, is not only about connecting us, although connecting us is important. Um, technology talks about connecting families, that's true, connecting loved ones, but it also talks about accessing information, it's also about the future. The future of all of us is built on technology. We hope that by presenting this opportunity now with a classroom, with the opportunity to access technology, that you will understand that people have access to making a better future, that this will be the centre for a better future for everybody to around us. The donation is in memory of Golda Meir, Israel's, um, Israel's first woman prime minister. Um, and I think that she was, also, she was also instrumental in creating connections between Israel and Africa. It was under Golda Meir that the programme of development and connection and increasing our policy of working with Africa really flourished throughout that time. But the fact that she was the first woman prime minister is also very significant and that we would do that in a woman's school. And I hope that it will serve as an inspiration, that I hope that one of the students in your school will go on to be the president of Nigeria. That you are the ones who are going to make this better for everybody. And I hope that the classroom that we are helped being involved in will be a little bit of a tool that will help you do that. So that is my wish to you, that is our wish to you, that this will become the beginning of a better future for everybody, for Nigeria, for Israel, and for a partnership between us. The chairman of education in the Act Houses of Abuja expressed appreciation to the Israeli embassy for the donation. The proper use of God's given talents by the Israeli people has placed this nation in the community of nations as a developed nation within this short expanse of its own existence and has many international and human commitments to the development of all peoples. This is why this simply small country has made progress, educational progress, and we are touched by this great development today. That a small country which is not as big as Eastern Nigeria can be an example of goodness to a country with 270 million people. Israel has given us an example of selfless generosity which Nigerians should and must emulate. In her remarks, principal of Regina Passes College said the facility would help to improve teaching and learning in the school. It's not just getting computers, it's being able to take care of this, maintaining the standard and moving forward to be, be able to reach that goal. We are over 800 children, all full body. The capacity can take 1,500, so we are, it's a big school and we're looking for expanding. Okay, right now we are remodeling the classrooms too, to meet up to the standard we're looking at. Meeting up with standard meaning that we have projectors, in interactive board in all the classes. And then the auditorium is also going to be of standard because we're also building an auditorium. So it's a very big school. We don't want to leave any stone unturned. So in every way that we can meet up to the international standard, we are moving forward.